Before we look at a demonstration of the entire workflow, let us take a moment to understand in greater detail how the ESC model is automatically generated. You will observe that the ESC solution refers to a component thermal database as well as a board thermal co conductivity file. The component thermal database defines the thermal properties for the board components, while the thermal conductivity file defines the spatial thermal conductivity based on the copper traces and vias available. Once the ESC solution has been generated, we can review the electronic specific CE object for the board and its components. You can note that this is a coupled thermal flow solution and indeed, when you view the board's properties, You can see that it defines a top and bottom surface of the wall friction criteria used for fluid flow analysis. Then if we look at a chip on the board, you can observe that based on the component catalog, it is a two resistor component. If we look at the definition within the component catalog, we can see how the component thermal properties get associated to specific PCB components. So we have seen how the component thermal database is defined and now we can look at how the thermal conductivity is generated. Complex heat conduction paths exist in PCBs due to dielectrics, traces, vias and other entities. These paths are best represented in thermal models by discretizing each layer and using orthotropic material properties that vary in the plane of each layer. First, we can see that thermal conductivity is calculated by a discretized algorithm. The discretized algorithm calculates the thermal conductivities of each calculation point in the x-y directions and uses that information to calculate the equivalent k and x conductivities and create a thermal conductivity spatial field that is used in a 2D mesh collector when you use the create an ESC solution command. Finally then we can view the calculation report which allows you to understand the layer by layer in plane conductivities.